have introduced a class connecting with HS second year business studies chapter one. The name of the chapter is nature and of management. Okay, it is it is the chapter one where we shall discuss about the different concept of management, meaning of management, uh, definition of management, characteristics of management, and a bit about other related activities. The so first we shall proceed towards what is management. The term management we can see here. Management is the process of doing things to help others in order to achieve certain common goals or objective with effectiveness and efficiency. Okay, now what is management? Management is doing things, completing tasks. Now how this task can be completed? Through help of others. By taking the help of others, one can complete the task with efficiency and effectiveness. For this reason, what is effectiveness and efficiency, we have to understand. Yes, effectiveness means what? Achieving the goal within the time factor means what you have to do? You have to complete the task within the time limit. Suppose we want to reach a destination, the time is suppose half an hour we have taken. Okay, within that half an hour, we have to complete our task. That is, the task has been completed with effectively. Okay, next is efficiency. Efficiency means what? Doing the task or completing the task considering the cost factor. Means what cost we determine, what standard of cost we determine on that factor we have to complete. Suppose to Produce a pen. Suppose we have set a standard of rupees, suppose 5 rupees. And if that pen can be produced within 5 rupees, we will say that the task has been completed with what? Efficiency. That is the meaning of effectiveness and efficiency. Effective. T is highlighted means time. Efficiency. The C is highlighted. C is the cost factor. That is management is the process of doing things with effectiveness and efficiency. Okay, this is a bit about the term concept of management. And management, one thing we need to understand, management is a universal concept. Universal concept, the term universal means which is acceptable in every format of the organization, whether it is a big organization, small organization, medium organization, or non organization, also non profit organization. So, providing certain social activity that is also a universal concept. Therefore, it is said that management is universal by nature. Okay, this is all about the concept of sorry, mean definition of management. Next, we shall proceed towards concept of management. Concept of management. Concept of management has been grouped into two categories. Number one, we can say a traditional concept, and number two, modern concept. Okay, traditional concept means what? Is the art of getting things done through others. Okay, means one thing we need to uh, common factor we need to have completion of task. Completion of task means through help of other by taking the support of other the work is being completed. Okay, that is the traditional concept by taking the support of other help of others we will complete. Suppose. In a, in a work, what we can take an example, suppose in a work, in a factory or an organization, manager alone cannot do or complete the task. What he have to do? He have to take the support of his employees, his workers and they overall they have completed the functions of the organization. That is the art of getting things done through art. And it is very important that this definition has been forwarded by Mary Paka Follett. It is very essential to know this definition of traditional concept of management has been forwarded by Mary Parker Follett. Okay, next we shall proceed towards modern concept of management. Modern concept of management is what? 
doing the things in the most systematic pattern or systematic manner by application of scientific tools and techniques. Means what? Updated technology, updated method, okay? Suppose use of internet, use of software or use of any kind of methodology or system, the work has been completed. That is the modern concept of management. Means doing the things in a process manner or systematic manner by application of scientific tools and this is all about we can say concept of management. This is about the characteristics of management. There are seven characteristics I have mentioned connecting with management. The first characteristic is what? Number one, management is a goal oriented process. Goal oriented process means what? Every task or every function, every organization has certain aim or motive and management execute its process with certain goal or motive. Without motive, there is no management. Why they do management? Because they are had, they have certain kind of motive to achieve. Okay? Therefore, management is a goal-oriented process. Number two is management is pervasive by nature. Pervasive means in every level of management, whether it is top level, middle level, low level, yes, top level means chairperson, board of director, in middle level, production manager, supervisor, at the lower level, at every step, they execute management. Therefore, it is pervasive by nature. It is applied at all level of management. In the third Characteristics we have said that management is multi dimensional. Multi means what? Multi means many. Dimension means part or ways. Means management is multi dimensional means what? It has various ways. Basically, management is three dimension management of work. Management of people and number third one is what? Management of operation. Okay, these are the three ways for which we say management is multidimensional by nature. Number fourth objective is what? Management is continuous process. The term continuous means keep on running, keep on going. Management do not end after achieving a particular task. It keep on rolling. One after another. One objective is fulfilled. Next objective automatically comes and management keep on working one after another. Therefore, it is said that management is a continuous process. Number five point is management is dynamic function. Dynamic function means it has various ways of application of management. Different managers apply different judgment while executing management plans and policy. Therefore, management is a dynamic function. It keeps on changing with time. Earlier the things were traditional, now modern. And in modern also different advanced mechanism were been adopted. Therefore, we say that management is dynamic function. Number six point is Management is intangible force. Intangible force means already you have got the term in accountancy in HS first year. Intangible assets. Here the term intangible means what? Which cannot be seen, touched with our naked eyes or naked hand. It do not have any physical existence but it has an effect. Application of management gives a result, whether it is a good result or it is a bad result. That is the effect they get, but it cannot be touched or seen. Therefore, it is intangible force. As the final characteristics is what management is group activity. As to execute the other activities, goal, partnership, multi-dimension, continuous, dynamic, intangible, management has to work as a team in a group 
collaboration of every employees, worker, manager, they have to work together. Therefore, it is said that management is a group activity. Individually, they cannot execute any functions of management. In a collective form, they have to do the work. That is, management is a goal-oriented uh, activity. Here are the different characteristics of management. Okay, here we shall stop our class. Thank you.